Okay, first and second grade, you can see that you're in my kitchen. I couldn't do this experiment at school very easily because I don't have a stove here in the classroom. So, um, I thought I would do it on my stove at home and you could see how it works. Okay, what I've got here is a pot of boiling water. The water is a liquid right now. It's taking the shape of the pan, its container, but it is heated up really hot and so now it is changing into steam. Now steam is made of three things. What you see here coming up out of the pan is actually three different things all put together. First of all, we've got air coming up out of the pan. Um, that is part of steam. Air is invisible. You can't see it. You've also got water vapor coming up out of the pan. That means water that has actually turned to a gas. That's coming up out of the pan. That's part of steam. But that's not what you're seeing because water vapor and air are both invisible. What you're seeing coming up out of the pan right now is actually little tiny drops of water that are leaving the liquid in the pan and flying up into the air. That's what you see when you see steam. Now to prove that's what's happening here, that water droplets are actually coming up off the surface of the water and going into the air, I've got this mirror here. And I've got these tongs. I'm going to hold the mirror over the water with the tongs. Now the surface of my mirror is completely dry right now. I've even wiped it with a towel to make sure that it stays dry. But I'm going to take the mirror and hold the shiny side right down there in the steam. The reason I'm holding it with the tongs is that the water is very hot and it could burn me. This is another reason why I don't want to do this in the classroom because it's kind of dangerous. Now, like I said, the mirror was dry when I put it in the water vapor here, but now after a little while, you can see water on my mirror. If you look closely, you can see the little water droplets right here on my mirror. Pretty cool. So the water is evaporating. That means that it is going out from the liquid in the pan to the air.